derives its effects from being converted in the brain to morphine, which then binds to and activates the opioid receptors in the brain. The receptors are specialized proteins located on the surfaces of cells. Opioids latch onto the receptors and trigger effects in the cells. There are three types of opioid receptors, mu, delta, and kappa. Opioids that are either used for treatment or misused produce their effects primarily from binding to mu receptors. Activating these receptors can produce analgesic painkilling effects, euphoria, sedation, dependence, respiratory depression, and more. The euphoric effects and dependence in particular may lead to addiction. Heroin is a full opioid agonist, which means that it binds to and fully activates opioid receptors. Other examples of full opioid agonists include methadone, codeine, and morphine. People who take opioids regularly, whether for medical reasons or illicitly, can develop a dependency on it. If they abruptly stop, they may develop uncomfortable withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal can increase a person's risk of restarting opioids and overdosing, which can be fatal. Treatment with Suboxone can reduce withdrawal symptoms and lower the risk of overdose. The buprenorphine in Suboxone is a partial opioid agonist. As an opioid, it still produces analgesia and euphoria, but as a partial agonist, these effects are felt to a lower extent than with full opioid agonists. Furthermore, the opioid effects of buprenorphine increase with each dose increase until they reach a ceiling at moderate doses where even if the dose is increased, the effects do not. This lowers the risk of buprenorphine being abused and of side effects, making it a vital substitute for heroin or other full opioid agonists to help individuals addicted to opioids as they begin their detoxification.